Hey everyone, welcome back. Okay, we're gonna do a rematch against Nubiator. Let's play London System. D4, he goes with a very aggressive F6. Oops. Whoops. Kind of got my bishop move out of order there. <laughs> eh, it shouldn't really matter. Kind of want to play bishop b5 here. Just trade off immediately. <laughs> I think the en engine recommends c4 here, but I don't recommend c4 here because I always get into some funny business along this dark square diagonal here. Mm, should I just play normally? If I play normally, I'm kind of bound to a bishop e2 here once he pushes up c4. So, I think I'll... Eh, eh, eh. Uh, I think my bishop has like the one chance to get out and breathe here now. So, I'll just let him out and castle. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. I think that, no, the Chad Gambit hasn't presented itself here. If his bishop was out here, the Chad Gambit was would still be viable, but I don't believe it is. I'll be knight d2 next. If he plants his bishop on d6, I'll just go knight e5. I really like making this knight e5 after a bishop d6. I personally feel like it's favorable for white here. Speaking of... I'm just distracted by our cat. Hanging out by the window. Sorry, girlfriend. Can't go inside. You're going to have to wait till this is over. I have varying success with taking with the pawn here. But I think I'll just take with the bishop. I believe the engine recommends taking with the bishop here. Mm -hmm. Start getting the knight into play here. Mm. I'll just go protect the bishop here. Mm. <laughs> kind of good for me. Where is it? Just run it back. I was thinking about d6 there, but it seems too risk. Unfortunately, I can't really get my knight out onto e5 anymore. Eh, it kind of sucks. But what you gonna do? I'm kind of tempted to go this way for some reason. Opening up the e file. I think opening up the e file is better. If he takes with his knight, I'll actually just recapture. Or do I want to? I don't know. What do I care about more here? The knight or the 
bishop. I think I would rather get the bishop out. Or excuse me, I think I'd rather get the trade the knight here. Simply because I can get the queen out. Oh, well, I don't want to put it to f3. Just kidding, obviously. Yeah, let's just trade off this way, I guess. Very trade-heavy game here. It's going to be looking for the pawn pin here. So... Yeah, I can't go queen f3. I think I have to block in with my uh, bishop here. Also could play a bit more of a forcing move, but I think I have to just block in here for now. Because if once he plays h3, the pawn gets pinned here, so this really just protects it. For the time being, at least. I probably want to go rook e1. I can start maybe trying to open up. I could go something like queen b3 and try to pin his pawn. Pin it absolutely. Hmm. Fancy moves you got there. I uh, could push f3. I think I'd rather go queen b3 or queen a4. I think I'll just go here for now. Oh, this kind of sucks. I can't really get my rook out here. Eh, kind of didn't really think about that. Got a couple loose pawns here. Hmm. What if I went like queen b6 and just sort of like attacked all these pawns? It's like a triple fork. I don't think he can move enough pieces to protect all of those, right? Because if I go queen b6, yeah, like he can go protect the uh, c6 pawn with the bishop. Hmm. I guess that is a move, huh? It's kind of expecting that. He'll probably move the queen back if I go a3. I think this is okay. It's a bit of a fork. I don't think he can protect both of these pawns at the same time. Uh, yeah, because he can defend c5 with the queen, but I'm still winning a6. Oh. I could have taken the bishop. Oh, taken with the bishop? Yeah. Yeah. I think the bishop. We'll see if that was the right... Move. I just noticed he wanted to chat. I was kind of distracted there with my own speech. She always does this. She's like outside all day. And then right as soon as I start recording a video she wants to come in. I don't know how that works. But if I take this pawn, I do need to be careful. I do still kind of need to protect the B pawn here. Um, What am I missing here?
Maybe I'm running into some kind of trap here. I feel like I'm okay though. Want to attack his queen here? I think attacking the bishop is is fine here. I'm guessing he'll probably just come back. Maybe I should have just taken the pawn. I don't know. I guess if he pushed up, I could have just went uh, up to f4. If he pushed h4. Maybe I should have just taken the pawn while I could. Hmm. If he brings the bishop back to d7, I can bring my rook out to the open file on d1. Which I think is good. I give up the bishop, huh? I guess I'll be losing a bishop in the process here. Maybe I want to play a more forcing move. Oh no, if I play a more forcing move, I'm just getting mated. I think if I do anything besides taking this, I'm getting mated. So... Yeah, I saw that coming. I think this move has to be done. Just adding another defender to that bishop there. And we'll just trade rooks off. I think that's okay. I'm going to be losing that e-pawn. Hmm. If he takes with the queen. Maybe y'all should not remove this. See what he does. We've had some really interesting bishop activity near the king in our games. <laughs> Don't know if you guys have noticed that. Mm hmm. Hmm. Okay. Now, what do we want to do? I have some options here, I suppose. Okay.
If I get checked here, I'm losing a pawn. I'm going to protect the B pawn. If he goes to the second rank, I'm losing a pawn because my king has nowhere to escape. So I think my next play is just going to be to create an escape square for my king and just protect them so I can just start pushing the other stuff up the board. King seems to be in a better spot than mine. I wonder if I should have just went towards the center. Hmm. Guess we'll find out. This pawn is a bit pinned here. Interesting. Oh, it's going to be an interesting game. Hmm. I'm going to be losing to this here. I think I have to kind of waste a move and get my king back. <clears throat> I'm going to be losing to this situation here, I think. I think I'm going to go just try to trade off the rooks. This might be a mistake. I think that was a mistake. Losing this pawn here. Bear with me, boys. End game is not my specialty. <laughs> As most of you are clearly aware by now. I'm really surprised he didn't take the pawn. <laughs> I guess I can pin this. Hmm. Kind of forces the trade and puts this pawn here. Kind of thinking to go here just to prevent the pawn from doing anything funny. Mm. Oh no. Hmm. have that pawn, I guess. Hmm.
Let's see how this goes. Is he gonna get it first? Yeah, I think he's promoting first, damn it. Oh well. I'm getting checked as well. Bit of a problem. Damn it. Yeah, he promoted first. Meh. <clears throat> Seems all right to me. It'd be interesting if I get a queen here. Mm hmm. There goes that pawn. <laughs> oh no. This is going to be really hard. Oh no. I don't think there's any chance. There's like no shot here. Uh, whoops. Get that stalemate going. This is actually really close. I was basically one square away from promoting. Um, would have been interesting to see how far, or I guess what the difference would have been if I if I could promote first. I'm just trying to put up the best fight that I can. Oh no. <laughs> oh no, I'm about to get mated. <laughs> uh, rough, rough. Oh no, I'm separated. <laughs> My boys. <laughs> My precious pawns. He just wins here with mate. <laughs> GG man. I wonder if that would that made have would have made any difference if I had gone um with the other pawn there. Yeah, GG. No you. <laughs> It was really close. Hmm. I think I just played one bad move. Yeah, GG. I think I just played one bad move once his king started going this way. And 55% accuracy. That's pretty rough. I actually had a pretty big advantage here. Oh, going up here, really? Why? Doesn't that just let him run his pawns up? I don't understand this move. And then where? B5. Interesting. Oh. So basically just free... Okay, okay, okay. I see what's going on. So essentially what this would do is really just remove the C5 pawn, which is in the way of the C4 pawn. I see. Right, so even if he tried to move, I can just catch him, and then I'm promoting first. Oh, uh, okay. That makes sense. 
Yeah. Okay. This would have been much different. Okay. I'll have to keep that in mind. Um, I don't really take those kinds of moves into account. Like, I guess I should have just recognized here. I, I thought it was, I thought it was faster to just chase the pawn down this way. But I suppose it's not, huh? Yeah, it's like it's too many moves to get there. Hmm. So basically removing the pawn that's blocking the king or blocking the pawn in from advancing. Let's say he doesn't take for some reason. You can just run the other pawn up the board, right? Mm-hmm. Makes sense. Okay, cool. I'm definitely going to keep that in mind. Um, yeah. That's a cool little strat there. So what other advantage did I completely just lose here? I was fully expecting him to take here. I didn't know what to play here. What was the move? H5. Just running this pawn up. Okay, and then... C5. And then, like, what, g4? King g4. Really? Interesting. d4. c takes d4. c takes d4. Wow, it's actually a dead even game here. Surprisingly, huh? Cool. Well, yeah, gg, newbiator. It's pretty fun. Uh, pretty fun kind of playing against someone a bit higher rated. Oops. I um haven't done that in uh quite some time, so it's good to get some practice in against a good player. But yeah, GG Nubiator. Thanks for the game. Thanks guys for watching. And um yeah, I typically announce when I'm taking sort of these viewer challenges in my Discord. Um I post that in the hashtag challenges channel. So if you're interested in doing something like this and being part of the YouTube videos, just go join the Discord. And then keep an eye out for when I ping. I usually do try to do this on the weekend. It's kind of just when I let my hair down and try not to play too many sweaty games. But uh, yeah, thanks guys for watching. See you in the next one.